Hello, uh, this is Sean from PFA. Uh, I'm going to make a quick video for everyone that is a little bit new to DS1 or is actually new to DS1. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how to um, send over a custom file sent by either me or a different tuner um, to upload onto the car. So I'm going to start you from the beginning. Um, so uh, I can help you out. Uh, all right, so we got our laptop. So we got an email from your tuner, and you got a new file. So either this would be a, a base file that uh, I'd be sending you, or um, somebody would be sending you. So what I like to do is I like to take this, and I like to save as, and I'll f make it. I'll make a um, a desktop file beforehand. Um, so this way I can always revert back to it and keep everything organized and I know where it's going to be. So I'll come in here and I'll save it, which I'm not going to save it because I already have one. Um, so after I hit save, it's going to be in there. So then you, at this point, you won't need any internet. So we can turn that off and the uh, next step will be going to the car. All right, so now that we're inside the car here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on. And uh, I like to get rid of the noise. Don't mind that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and find the DS1. So mine is already here. Oh, I'm gonna... All right, <laughs> let's try that again. So, you on the back of your DS1, there is a model number and password. I take a picture of it. I have it on my phone, so I always have it. Um, this way, you're going to need it in a minute. So, after we have that plugged in, which I'll plug back in, don't share your password or, well, you can share the model number, but don't share your password or anybody else because you don't need them logging on to your car if you're near them. Like, when I go to the track, a lot of people have DS1, and uh, you don't need them be then tampering with your stuff. So, now you have your, your model number and password for your DS1. We're going to look for it in your Wi-Fi. You do not need internet for this. This is a confusing part that a lot of people don't understand. Um, it's gonna come up like that. So then it's gonna ask you to connect to it. Mine is already in there. So you're gonna put in your model number and your, your um, password. It is case sensitive. So make sure that you, you do that correctly. So now that we're connected to the DS1, we are going to one itself. And one nine two. Oh, it already came up. You're going to go to one nine two dot one six eight dot four dot one. This is what I'm always going to refer as the DS1 web browser. Like I said, you don't need internet for this. You only need internet when you need to update. But we're not updating, so we are just adding a file to the computer itself. So you're going to go to File, File, and then you're going to go down here where it says Choose File, Choose File. Now we're going to go back to our folder that we made earlier, go to PFA, that's the file I put it under, here's Big Slow, and we're going to hit Open, Execute. So now that it says something like whatever it is, slow version one, hit send. And then after, it's gonna, depending on what update you have, but it's gonna come up with a little 
information tab here that says custom file received after flashing wait up to several minutes for lambda sensors to operate before strong acceleration then data log dyno spectrum is not responsible for custom tunes or files in their support so the file is now uploaded into the web browser itself so there it is big slow now we're gonna flash the car so we're gonna go to cow flash now depending if you just updated some of them require a full flash that's what we call a full flash click here it takes a little bit while make sure you have a battery charger hooked up to it because you may depending on your battery condition may die but since we're doing a cow flash it typically is done within two to five minutes so we're going to hit cow flash and it's going to ask us what file we want so here's our file that i just sent you and I ask, hey, are you sure you want to flash? And then since I have check engine lights, it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to flash after ECU has faults? Yes. Don't touch anything. It is now flashing. You're going to watch everything go nuts over here. Your suspension's going to dump. It's going to make noises. Just leave it. It's going to do its thing. All right, so it actually just finished up, and it's gonna come up with this. It says flash completed, turn off ignition, wait 10 seconds, and so we turn the ignition off. Then you're gonna turn the ignition back on. All right, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna clear the faults, clear them out. And it tells you, completed, completed, fault now what i like to do is i like to go to gauges and i'll go to gauges and the easiest way to tell if your lambda sensors are reading is when you start it this is going to say 10 now just because it says 10 does not mean it's good to go i'll show you in a minute if it starts this file works <laughs> but just because it's reading off does not mean it's reading you'll know when it's reading because it'll make a like a weird um not noise but a different noise than normal but i like to tell people if this top number has changed or if this top this bottom number has changed so one thing we can do is we can get out of here we can re hit refresh now that it's running and all these numbers are the same this is an easy way to tell if that number goes 199 or 1.75 or anything other than what it's reading now in a high point this will turn red then they're reading same thing with that it may go the other way just wait until that actually does something it, some cars are, are longer than most but this is this is the most important part because if you go and do you get excited you load in the files you know cars tuned you want to go have fun and you floor it and that's not reading that no good no good so we're gonna let that set and we'll come back when uh, when it's reading all right so back to what i was saying we have a little bit of change in variance between the high and low so low oh, i'm sorry let's start with the high 0.81 and 104 so it's reading now so we are now ready to log so we're not gonna log in here because there's nothing uh, I can really do with this. So we're gonna exit out of this. I said exit, and we're gonna close that. So I like to put my DS2 right in the center of my screen. So when I uh, wanna log, I click on mine, and that's telling me I'm good to go. We're, we're logging. Now I like to wait a little bit because for some reason, 
this takes a little bit longer sometimes and it actually boots out and uh, doesn't even log. So I can already tell it's not gonna log. And then that's it, that's all I get. So it waited too long and now I noticed that we're not logging because I lost the actual black screen that was logging. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna try that again. So we got our, there we go, now we're logging. Now nah, we're logging. So, we go do a run. Now, next thing I want to go over is hitting the kickdown switch. So, I'm going to turn my car off. And I'm going to just put it on ignition. So, we got the car. So we're going to get rid of that so you can hear me. Okay. So... You need to practice a couple times, especially if you're new to this. When I say I want a specific gear and a pull from, let's say, 2000 to shift, you can't hit the kickdown switch. So play, play with the throttle, play, you know, practice. So I know that right there, I'm at full throttle, but I didn't hit the kickdown because, I don't know if you can hear it, There is another spot of the pedal that is the kickdown switch. So I'm going to try to shine the light down there so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's my foot, and I'm all the way down, and kick down, kick down. I don't know if you can see it. You can't miss it. I need a nice swift... Like that. But you're not hitting the kick down. Just practice that a couple times. This way, you know, you sent me a log. You didn't just waste, you know, gas or risking losing your license. <laughs> and you get a nice log all the way through that it's 100% pedal. And I'll let you know that you're not getting 100% pedal. Because I'll know instantly when I only got that much. <laughs> or that much. I need that much. So... I think uh, I'm going to wrap it up there, and uh, we'll see. If you guys have any uh, concerns, questions, uh, comments, uh, let me know, and I'll uh, try to help you out with it. But good luck, and be safe.